In the Russian Orthodox Church, Epiphany is a holy time. The Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all of Russia blesses water to purify the soul, then sprinkles the devout. Meant to wash away the sins of the year past and bestow blessings in the year to come. By night, Muscovites take to the water. Only steps from the Kremlin, the most pious, submerge three times. <laughs> Moscow set up 60 dunking tanks, some encrusted in ice. Epiphany is now a spectacle. As the bells toll for everyone, even outspoken politicians come. But Vladimir Zhirinovsky dunks only once, a sign, and afterwards he invokes his theory. No sin in Russia, but you are in uh, West. You all time in Grihi, как Grihi по-английски. Since, since. But he makes an exception for Canada. Very good country. Epiphany marks the end of the Christmas holidays here, which stretch into January. And Russians are going to need all the blessings they can muster because it is oil which pays the bills in this country, not water. And with the collapsing price of oil and the ruble following, 2016 is looking like a very harsh year. <laughs> At the Moscow River, in the dead of night, it's a balmy minus 11. A hole is cut in the ice and helping out a savior, this one in a rescue suit. We meet Andrei Afanasyev, a young Christian journalist not bothered by the cold or any economic storm. We don't need to change the price of oil to be happy and strong. For him, it's faith that drives him to the icy depths and leaves him euphoric. How is that? Great. Is that great? It's always. The weather great. <laughs> this is Russian winter. Yeah. Yes, of course. For others, this ancient ritual has become an adrenaline rush, a test, a mark of Russian fortitude, whatever comes. Susan Ormiston, CBC News on the Moscow River.